that struck me about the, uh, the majority of, of patients who need, you know, joint replacements is that uh, usually, you know, their arthritis is typically confined to one or two compartments of the knee. Uh, I think most orthopedists are finding that we, we see a lot of patients who are in their 40s and 50s uh, who have had previous uh, injuries to their knee and they've undergone arthroscopy. And the doctor tells them afterwards that really, uh, you know, they have no cartilage left in their knee and uh, they ask the doctor, well, what's, what's my next step? And he says, knee replacement. Well, I think if you're, if you're, if you're an active you know, person and you're in your, your, your 40s, 50s, you know, early, early 60s, you know, the, the idea of a knee replacement conjures up something that, you know, your grandmother had. Now that uh, a, there's a, a partial knee replacements or resurfacing type, type procedures, I think these are ideal for the, uh, for the younger, you know, more active patient. Uh, uh, primarily because it, 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 they don't uh, burn any bridges when they have the operation done. The pain level I had before surgery was enough to keep me from doing the activities that I had been doing all my life, which was being very active, playing golf, doing a lot of yoga, hiking, um, swimming, uh, walking and um, it became even difficult to walk upstairs or downstairs. Uh, before surgery, uh, pain was something that inhibited your ability to do anything. So I wore a brace for six years on this leg, enabled to me to walk, to go do anything. So it really restricted my activities in any sports or any walking, hiking, anything I wanted to go do. Most of my adult life I experienced uh, pain levels from one to four, depending on the amount of activity. All of a sudden I started to experience extreme pain in both of my knees. I had difficulty walking and the pain level was in the seven to eight range. The pain range. was significant enough that I really thought about walking up and down stairs or, or going to see for instance, if I wanted to go to a museum, did I really want to go badly enough? In 2006, I was participating in a handball match uh, and injured, injured my right knee. I was having uh, pain uh, even with activities of daily living, uh, pain uh, especially going up and down stairs. Uh, I wore an unloading brace uh, to, to play, play sports in. I knew that I was really looking at some type of a, a replacement procedure. I, of course, knew that I was a candidate for knee replacement. I was told that that was the step for me. And I just refused to want to accept having to deal with that. My internet research led me to conformist because they are the latest state of the art. They build a custom device that fits your bone. I basically tell you know, most of my patients that most, most knee manufacturers you know, make knee replacements in five or six sizes, and they're going to make your knee fit one of those five or six sizes. And they, to do that, they're going to cut away a lot of bone and, and cartilage and, and then finally you know, fit you with a knee replacement, whereas a, a computer-designed uh, you know, custom uh, is going to fit your knee perfectly with a, with a, with a minimum of, of bone resection. The idea of it, and having come from the electronics industry, when someone talks about CAD, someone talks about, well, computer-aided design, and talks about how they can use that to assist making an implant for your knee, you say, that's a good idea. I started doing, doing more and more research and finally came, came across the, you know, the, the conformist knee. At that time, I, I decided to you know, take a trip up to Boston and observe uh, the procedure. Uh, I was so impressed uh, when I watched the procedure done and, and, and was able to talk to some of the engineers that I said, I'm going to come to Boston and have my own knee done. Of course, I went through the preoperative CT scanning and uh, waited until the, until the implant was, was constructed. I felt like, I can't believe I just had surgery, that I was this mobile. After two weeks of uh, recuperation, I was able to comfortably walk one mile with no joint pain at all. Immediately on post-op day one, uh, I did not require uh, really even a walker uh, or a cane. The physical therapist came into the room, 
said that she had to come and, and clear me. I, I showed her that I could basically, you know, do almost a one-legged squat, which I could not even do before the surgery because it was too painful. Well, it having the surgery allowed me to do things I couldn't do before. Like, I like to want to walk in the woods. I'm an outdoorsman. I was able to do those things, not at the level I used to as a younger person, but at a much higher level than I could before surgery. I, I really don't think about my knee hardly at all. It, it's, it, I feel like it's very strong and stable and my golf game is definitely better. <laughs> uh, I am so glad that I had the surgery when I did because a whole year has passed and I've been able to uh, experience real, real quality again and, and being able to be free to do what I want to do. Not have to think first, oh can I do this? Am I strong enough? Will my knee hold up? That's not even a consideration anymore. Um, and since since that time, I, my knee has done done great. I've uh, basically spent a lot of time building up my quads. I've I've gotten my range of motion back. And then at, at the six week mark, uh, following my surgery, I finally went back and started playing handball. My advice to anyone who's a potential candidate for knee surgery is seek it out as soon as possible. You don't want to miss out on the joys of life and the activities that you normally participate in. Uh, again, because I think there's, there's so much variation uh, in everybody's anatomy of their knee um, that, you know, that, that it really made sense that uh, now we've gotten so good with the, with the imaging you know, that we can build a custom implant uh, if down the road, you know, 10 or 15 years, they have arthritis in other areas of the knee that, that maybe need, need to address. Uh, you could still, still go in there and either do another partial knee replacement on the other side, or if you had to convert it over to a full knee replacement, you could do a primary knee replacement without a lot of the risks and complications and, and, and technical uh, problems that, that sometimes a complex revision knee replacement entails.